Hi and welcome to my playhouse and the basement and today we have a little Chinese thing that we're gonna have a look at it's a spot welder I did show this in a well the first video of the year you can see there was a sneak peek of it but today we're gonna have a little closer look at it kind of a review showcase I have been trying to to get a working spot welder for a while uh, a while back probably a year or so ago we built a spot welder out of this power pack it's really meant for uh, for starting your car if it's uh, if it has well stopped starting <laughs> and uh, it also had a compressor pump built in it was really the compressor pump that failed in this device and um, I wanted a compressor pump in my car so I replaced it with a tiny little one instead of this chunky one so um, yeah I did manage to do a video and build this to a um, to a spot welder it has a problem it has an old lead acid battery uh, which is okay it, uh, it can do some really powerful spot welds um, which is actually a problem because it drains the battery really quickly and it burns holes in the batteries if you do it so uh, that's a problem so hmm, I guess it's guess it's totally drained now that's unfortunate but I made that and gave up on it and therefore I moved on to the next one which was a professional spot welder that um, well I actually managed to persuade Banggood to give me this for uh, for doing a review on it and as it was a professional one it turns out this draws a heck lot of power like crazy amount of power I have 13 amp fuses 220 volts here and those just blew like nothing so hooked up a generator to it and was able to do some some spot wells on low settings to use this I will have to make changes to my electric system and so on so I kind of gave up on that idea I should probably put it up for sale someone else might be uh, really happy with this but moving on but what if we still have some batteries that need soldering well I found this one on the internet and actually it was one of you guys who who pointed me in the direction of this one and uh, I bought this this is not sponsored I have paid and bought and haven't gotten anything for free but I got it from Banggood and it's a spot welder and it's all contained in this little device uh, it comes in a tiny box like this there is I, I, I had it out and charged it and made sure that I actually know what I'm kind of doing not always the case but I will try and um, yeah it's just a box oh, I forgot the cable for it okay there is a cable for it as well because this is charged from a USB it's a USB-C connection in the box here it goes in the back there is a connection right there USB-C you can <laughs> turn those both ways it's awesome so there is that so I've had it out of the box charged it up to full uh, which is really cool it um, it doesn't say anything on the front when you do that but on the back there's a tiny little LED here as long as it's charging it, it's uh, lighting up red and as soon as it's done it becomes green very easy to um, to understand so that was neat with it well there was the cables and there are these two spot welding cables here I've been checking these they have this copper pointer here and I'm a bit confused about uh, it very much looks like you're not able to replace that I think that is weird apparently you have to replace the whole cable I have also been feeling on these and it it feels like that there is not a lot of uh, uh, might be too much insulation here and too little cable inside it feels kind of weird yeah as long as it does the spot welds I guess we are okay then it comes with a little bit of spot welding uh, tin it's 0 0.1 millimeter thick and it's 8 millimeters wide and um, maybe there's four meters here I'm not sure that's that's a estimated guess together with a manual which is uh, <clears throat> well it brings most of us Europeans into a little bit of a problem here because there is absolutely nothing in English well there are some numbers here by guessing you can kind of guess that this it's the internal battery and it's charged to 4.2 volts and maximum current of 
yeah a lot 639 amps and something else 1200 amps and micro usb and one amp and blah 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 but other than that it's all in chinese and yeah i'm not very strong with that but i did find that on the back of the box in very small letters there is something in english and this is very helpful it um, there's only one button on the device and that's on the other side but it tells you what that button does so long press is on and off double click enter quit power settings okay oh we actually turn it on let's turn it off again there off short press chooses auto triggering or regular triggering automatically discharges to 50% after five days of inactivity that's nice lights green battery red power level orange discharging okay that's about it and then there is the the numbers again there is output current 639 amps there's nothing about those 1200 amps here and it tells us five volts one amp for the for the charging it took a bit to charge it up but uh, that was okay so let's go through the settings here and as mentioned i have charged it up all the way so to turn it on you press the button uh, until it powers on there nice little light show it does there and right now it's setting um this is what is this this is called regular tricking uh, every time it beeps it will do a spot welding i guess uh, to change that we press it once and it's uh, over to automatically in that mode you uh, you you put these together and if they are short circuited it will do a spot weld within a few seconds or half a second or some kind of something right now the batteries are full four green dots full batteries uh, if we double click here we go to the power level that's how strong the spot weld is going to be and it's not a good idea to just set it at max because it is actually from what i have seen on the internet it will burn holes through the nickel strips if it's at maximum but you can you can change that four dots is maximum you start over with one two three so we're gonna start it up with two that should be a good start so uh, now we have set that and press twice to get back to the main menu and we should be ready to go so here are some spot welds that i did uh, on one of the other spot welds i really don't remember which one but they weren't very good okay that one is good that one's actually pretty good totally melted down through the stuff so we're gonna these are as I remember it, these were just waste batteries that weren't good for anything and I was just testing the spot welder on them, so batteries doesn't matter. Just need to remove the, the stuff here. So let's try the stuff that came with it. Oh, and it's gonna say when I do this. I'm gonna have it all over the place. Lovely. Can we can we minimize the damage maybe? There. And we'll just make a strip that is long. Oh, it's, this is nice and wide. This is almost too good for a bit of testing. Uh, almost. And we need to take these elastic bands off. I haven't tested this. This is the first time we're gonna try this. They go in really snug. Guess that's good. I want them to be pointing in each direction so they don't short sugar out for fun. Just because they can. There. Okay. Let's just connect all the minuses. That's normally that's the most difficult side when you're soldering the batteries because there is more metal to heat up here. The other side of the 18650 is just a it, it's a floating piece of metal that is here and it's way easier to heat up. Whereas the negative side here is all of the body of the battery. 
you don't heat all of this up it, it does become really warm right there but yeah so um, we should get less of that with this so let's try and put that on and just for good measures i am wearing a pair of glasses and of course um, i also have the new safety slippers on so let's see how this works let's see very interesting let's see how that works I'm gonna try one of the middle ones. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Did you see that? That wasn't that wasn't bad. Let's try that again. I didn't align this correctly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in trouble here, but it is spot welding. And it's rather quick. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, that did take long. So is it on there or do we need to increase power? Yeah, it's on now. Come on, <laughs> they're really not easy to get out of here. Yeah, they are spot welded there. They're not gonna fall off. Yeah, I am impressed. And and size wise, this is awesome. Like that's cool. I have these nickel, nickel, kalium, nickel, metal, nickel, metal hydrate batteries, and these are really difficult to solder on. And you can see they are spot welded. So uh, I did a battery video not that long ago. Very unpopular battery video. Nobody wanted to see that. I guess it was about okay. It is possible to to take it off again. Oh, see that it made holes in all of the spot welds. So. Uh, it had a good connection there. Um, very difficult to sort of learn that stuff. Can we raise that up ever so slightly? Get the same height. Oh, can we spot bolt that on there? I would expect it to do that. I'm just giving it a cup some. It's not really wearing anything. Oh, I have a sensor light down here. It's a buggered. Yeah, it uh, it did that, and it's gonna break the the wire if I try to pull that off. We're gonna try and pull that off. <clears throat> it broke the wire. So I did do a lot of spot welds on it, but that means that I cannot spot weld these nickel metal hydrate stuffity uh, they're terrible but yeah i can if i want to okay when i'm when i'm building my battery banks i put on fuses i have a tiny little wire here and it's gonna it's gonna act as a fuse i'm gonna see if i can i can actually spot weld that so we're gonna i need my glasses let's see if we can do that where are we at i need to capture it there and then we'll just try and take the other one and check if this is connected it most definitely are yeah it's possible it, it took me quite a while the camera is in the way and to get the magnifying glass and all that uh, so i'm not sure if how long is that gonna take if it's not in the way might be okay hmm. not bad yeah that actually didn't take me long to get good at and these are not going anywhere they seem to be on there really good awesome 
I usually have a bus bar that they have to be connected to, so let's see if we can do that. Okay, it needs glue. That didn't work. Is it because the nickel is melting? Did I get it? No, it, that doesn't work. I must say, I'm really impressed with this little dude. If I have to point out something negative, I would have liked if it had um, a rubber casing or something. This is gonna be scratched on my table in no time. And these small leads, it gonna... Oh, I have turned it off. <laughs> I just don't wanna short circuit these metal rats here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be scratched in no time, so I might want to put maybe some gaffer around it just to uh, to protect it and make it look good just ever so slightly longer but yeah even after all the testing we did it didn't even drop uh, one um, LED in, in, in power strength I guess there's a lot of spot welds in this before it has to be charged again until now it has done everything that I asked it to I did also increase it in power to see if I could spot weld that fuse onto the copper. Didn't work. And then I tried to, to spot weld a piece of soldering tin onto the copper. That was a bad idea. That kind of exploded. I think it's those tiny drops of flux that is inside of the solder that kind of just exploded. And uh, I think it was good that I had my glasses on. I'm not sure. I didn't see any debris falling on me, but uh, well, it didn't sound good. So overall, I'm very surprised what this little box can do. Um, I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I have cheated and I have removed all the screws. I took the back plate off and the front plate also just comes off. Uh, it looks like this, looks like it's kept in place by something up here uh, oh it comes out fairly easy <laughs> okay wow this is nicely built this looks great there are two batteries here i can't see what those are they might be lithium polymer batteries mm. Probably lithium polymer batteries that are in here. These could have been straight, but they're not. And they have, they have not spot welded it. So these are, must be the switching. Uh, those that turn on and off the power. I will say that the build quality is very nice for the price point of this. I believe this was about $50. 200 and something Danish crowners, but about $50. And as such, it's not really expensive. Nice little charging circuit down here. Yeah, this is very well built. So that was the inside of it, and I must admit that was a way better build quality than I was expecting for around $50. And something funny, I noticed that the, the bottom here and the top here, those are PCBs. They are painted and with silk screen on them. And actually I found on the bottom, it says that it's lithium ion batteries in there. It is almost the same. I think I'll take a chance here and I'll recommend this. This seems to be a very good solution for doing a bit of spot welding and it's small enough so that you can bring it anywhere. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. Please give this video a like and visit my little shop. If you are in need of some server hardware or just want to support what I do, then just buy something random that no one will ever want to buy. That would be awesome. But um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.